Um, again, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Professor David Sala. Um, David is Dean of uh, Leicester Partnership NHS Trust and is representing the Trust today. Thanks, David. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, thank you, Mike. Um, I'm really very honored to be here. And as some of you would already know, I have quite a close working relationship with Mike and his program. Uh, because he, he trained clinical psychology doctorates and the trust hosts them. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm delighted to be part of that setup. But you know, um, coming from Africa myself, you know, the drum beats always say something, doesn't it? <laughs> um, I'm not very good at the dancing bit, but. Uh, so <laughs> well, um, Leicester Share Partnership Trust. Uh, provides mental health, learning disability, and community services for the city of Leicester, county of Leicestershire, and the whole of uh, Rockland. And I think talking about that, we uh, are looking at a population of, I think, 1.2 million people. Uh, so, um, and Leicester, as uh, it is, as we heard from uh, Bob, it's a very diverse area. I, I don't need to repeat that. But what I can say, though, because of its diversity, its health complexity is a real challenge. And that is why we need to be really, really good uh, and uh, real leaders in healthcare provision for the wider uh, country as well. Um, much of the distress experienced by refugees and asylum seekers can be linked to the events that led to their departure from their home country. And it's often very difficult to uh, understand a story that the individual <coughs> is telling because some of the time it just sounds too implausible, but it is true. Uh, and, and I think that is the real challenge uh, for this. Um, I'm going to tell you about the service that uh, we uh, have worked together with. It's called the ASSIST service. I think uh, there are uh, some staff here today. I'm going to read this one. We provide service for the ASSIST service, which is one of the very few services in the whole country that is solely dedicated to looking after uh, asylum seekers and refugees. Now, that is a, a big uh, uh, decision, both for the city council, the health service, to put that service together. And, and, and it's still uh, a, a, a service that is primarily uh, led by general practitioners. The ASSIST service itself offers a range of services to, to including mental health services, <laughs> that is counseling, art therapy, and cognitive behavioral therapy. They also have input uh, from a consultant psychiatrist and uh, certainly from the Medical Foundation for Victims of Torture. ASSIST has developed a care pathway along the common mental health problem service that has significantly reduced referrals to secondary care. Now what that means is the ASSIST service is pretty good at looking after uh, the, the population that is looking and does not add too much to the secondary care, you know, the hospital build up for uh, uh, care that, that happens. Now some of the services that are provided by ASSIST include HIV and hepatitis screening, cervical screening, uh, which is very high. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, take up. Uh, the also provides a consultant midwifery service which provides help for victims of female genital mutilation. The employment of health visitor have actually make it much better for uh, children uh, also uh, to have some medical or social uh, uh, input. But you know, ASSIST cannot do all of this on its own and it needs everybody, all agencies uh, within the city to support it. And that is why uh, Leicestershire Passman Street Trust is very keen to do that. 
Uh, I don't have any more to say, but just to, uh, then to say, this event today is something that I believe in uh, completely, having led a big national project that are partly devoted to providing services for victims of torture, um, refugees, asylum seekers. It is important we do that. And just to say, thanks very much for inviting me. Thank you very much, David, and all our, of our introductory uh, speakers. Um, in, 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 the, in the interval between um, giving thanks to everyone and now, I've realized that one important person I forgot to mention is Dr. Steve Mellowish from my own uh, group uh, who is sitting over there. And, and again, Steve has, has, has very much led the uh, development of this conference. And I'm um, very grateful to you, Steve, for all your efforts.